Good morning, SCS. Today we're going to be talking about sports and the mental effects they have on people. So today I'm with my friend Renzo Industria. And so yeah, let's get into it. What's your stand on this topic about sports? Uh, I think in, in a generalized term. <clears throat> I think sports uh, definitely motivates people to like get out of bed or like, you know, just get out of their comfort zone a little bit. Um, I think sports is very therapeutic because like, especially for me, surfing, um, mm -hmm. surfing is very therapeutic. Like if I'm ever like, I don't know, let's say I'm like, I'm down or sad or whatever. I go surfing and all I think about is just the water, the wave, the next wave, this, the, you know, the experience. And I feel like it's such an unreal experience that like, I don't know, it just clears my head and like, yeah. makes you feel at peace. You know, yeah, I definitely agree with that. And sometimes even not such an exotic sport like surfing that like most people can't do. Like sports in general, like it it yeah. is an an ex therapeutic experience. Yeah, a therapeutic escape and um it just really helps you get away from whatever you're going through like spiritually, emotionally, at mentally um at home, at work, like wherever you are. When you go to play a certain sport, whatever sport you play, um, that's just like, that's all you need to think about in the moment. You just it's an about, escape for sure. It's a, you just need need to think about how to win, how to keep yourself safe, and just have fun, bro. Like sports, the whole, the yeah. whole point of sports is to have, have fun. fun. Like, yeah, people play competitively. Yeah, people play for trophies, for wins. But, but where like, do they start? They started having fun. You, you start that sport with fun, and then that's your, that's your true escape. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but sometimes sports can also have a negative effect on people. Like what, like physical injuries or like? Physical, um, mentally, some people can get really stressed out from sports because yeah. most people. It's a lot. When they start playing, like, for example, either like football or basketball, two of the most biggest sports in America. Um, Most people, when when you play for, for, for the sport, obviously it's fun in the beginning, but then it gets competitive. It and then it gets to the point where... That's where you put your life. Like people base their, for example, their college experience, their their whole scholarship thing on that sport. Yeah. So if something negative happens with that sport, like an injury or, or just something outside of the sport, that can take you away from that. Like, for example. No, it can impact you dramatically. Like it could literally take you out of the school. Yeah. Like if you do something bad, like <laughs> you, you might not even be in school when you're doing a, a negative act. That can still take you out of the sport. And then that can negatively impact your college future, which is mo what most people um, aim for. Base on that because most people think they're just gonna get scholarships from their sport, but really that's that's some, for most people it's not possible, and yeah. that can really like mess you up mentally um, and even physically, bro. All the injuries. Oh, yeah, but like for football, like physical injuries is a big one. For sure. Yeah. Like, bro. Uh, what's that guy's name? Tamar Hamlin. Oh, yeah. It's insane. Yeah, it's just, it's just really like. <clears throat> like he could have ended his career right there. Yeah. Not just his career. He could have ended his life yeah. right there. So that's a really scary thing that most people have to go through with their sports. But that that's just it. Like, that's just the commitment. And that just shows how much drive they have for for their for their sport for their career because most people when like at this age it's it's a balance it's a balance between sports school. and no, and school and academics it's a balance between school social life and then sports academics yeah when you get to the the pro level the college level really the only thing that really matters at that point if you have a scholarship is sports some more academics, but well, if you got a scholarship for that sport, then that's really the mo the <coughs> main thing that matters. Because obviously the goal is the next level. The goal is the NFL or the goal the field, is yeah. the NBA or the MLB. Whatever sport you play, like that's the main goal for almost everyone. Um but yeah, you just most people, you know, you just have to be careful with that. Um have to remember like not everything is about sports. You also have to think about your spiritual life with God. Um, because most people, mm. like I know when I would play football a lot, I was just thinking, I would just think about academics and then <coughs> social life practice 
and social life and stuff like that, you don't really think about what time you have to make with God. Yeah. So that's definitely something that I needed to get straight, and I'm still working on that. But, but I think being in a Christian school and also, like, in sports, like, I remember for football, the retreat in summer, like, there was, like, a bunch of, uh, like, biblical stuff in there, and, like, you know, we all prayed and, like, went in that bonfire and stuff. Yeah. Like, it definitely helps a lot that we're in a Christian environment Yeah. to um kind of, like, somewhat, like, refocus and uh, help us grow closer to God. But most people don't have that chance to be in a private school or a private Christian school. Yeah. Um, so that that's really where uh, the spiritual life plays a part in your um, sports life. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for your time and have a great day.